Hi everyone, welcome back to my cryptocurrency update video. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for 91 subscribers. Just over the moon with that and um, just please subscribe because the next milestone would be 100. Like how crazy would that be? I started with absolutely nothing. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoy these updates. So I'm just going to head on. I'm covering VeChain of course, just to let you know. And I'm starting on the daily time frame. So obviously I saw this head and shoulders pattern here. The neckline is this um, pink line here. Measured the tar technical target by just putting a line here to here and then I dragged it down to here and that gave us a target of 0 0.065 cent. And if you remember in my videos a little while ago, I had a target for VeChain to the downside at about 0 0.066 cent. Um, and actually it looks like we are gonna be coming down to hit this technical target here. Um, and fill in one fill in this wick here, which we have done already. So we could hold out here or if we do come down, I'm thinking we're going to come down to that 0 0.065 cent mark and hopefully that would be it for VeChain. And I just want to say as well that I am reading the charts and I'm giving both sides of the story. I'm giving an upside and I'm giving a downside because it is 50-50. It can go either way. So I just, I'm not bearish. I'm not bullish. I'm just reading the charts. So I just wanted to put that out there quick. Obviously we do have a technical target up here still, but obviously we're not, we have to break this neckline of our W pattern to get there, but I'm just letting you know that that is still there at 12 cent. Anyway, so we're down here at the moment. Let's add some fibs on and see where we actually are. <clears throat> so at the moment we're at the one, we've hit the one twice and we have held support here. So if we can hold support again, hopefully then we can head up back to the 0618 here. Obviously, we're still using this 20 moving average as a trend line, a downtrend line at the moment. We're respecting it to the downside. So it would be really key to get above this 20 moving average, which would take us above the 0618 for continuation to the upside. Of course, if we do lose the one, if we do hit this technical target, maybe we'll wick down to the 1.272 at about 0 0.061 cent could wick there and head back up here to the one but obviously again if you don't hold this we're heading around the 1414 break this weekly support we're heading to the 1618 at 0.053 cent I don't particularly see that happening myself um, obviously I want the positive scenario to come out of this but if we do obviously lose key levels here key levels here we probably will end up going to the 1618 down there um, of course I am also seeing like a small W pattern here so if I went from neckline so resistance to the bottom it's a short term but if we then drag that to that neckline if we broke out we have we do reach a target of 0 0.092 cent which takes us above the 20 moving average and our next target from this moving average would be the 55 which hits our target up here so obviously if we can break this neckline and validate this w pattern we could be heading up way above the 0 0.618 so about 0 0.92 cent 0 0.092 cents sorry with our next target being the 200 then validating this technical target so that would be a really nice play you know we've had our dip ready for continuation hit the target hit our next target that would be lovely to see of course but right now we really need to hold this one we really need to be holding 0 0.069 cent for vchain for me to be um for me to be sure that we're going to head up and break this neckline and head to that target getting above the 0 0.618 here so it's really key, obviously, breaking the 20 moving average as well is really important right now. So we just need to see how that plays out on the daily. Hopefully we can end on a green day holding this one level support. That's what we want to see by the end of today. If not, this technical target will probably be hit down here. Not a negative because it's still a target hit. So then we can either reverse or continue down. Let's look at the four hour now then. Zoom out here. So we've got one bottom here, one bottom here, which is the W pattern I was just talking about, but I'll just show you again to make it more clear. So from the top, from resistance to the bottom, pop that on the breakout here. This is our W pattern that, um, it's not the same one as before, just now on the daily, it's the W pattern that I've been talking about on the four hour, which will take us up, that was my mistake, sorry, but that will take us to 10 cent, and then that actually will then validate this technical target here. So we've got like, we've got about three W patterns here, two on the daily, one on the four hour, that could bring us up to the upside, hitting these targets and validating our next higher target. So it's, that's really positive. Obviously it's a target, it needs to break the neckline for that to be possible, but it could happen. So anyway, obviously we are down at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna just add some fibs on. I'm gonna go from here to here. I know it's a small one, but let's see where we are on a smaller fib with some technical targets that could happen now. 
So here, we've kind of had a range between the 0.618 and the 7.86. When you lose the 0.618, you're high there is a high probability of um, starting a reversal wave. And the minimal target for a, a reversal wave is the one fib level. And that would take us to 0 0.068 cent. So if we lose the 7.86 now, we will be going down to here, which lines up with the low here. You know, when you lose the high, you come down to the previous low. So that would make sense for us to come to the one at 0 0.068 cent at the moment because we're hitting the lows, maybe when we can for continuation then, if we lose the one, we know we go down to the 1618. And we also have this down technical target here, so we could get stopped out at any of these levels. The 1618 here lines up at 0 0.06 cent. However, obviously we could then, another option, a positive option, we could bounce off the 786, bringing us above the 6, 618 again, above the 20 moving average, and then maybe we'll have a range between the 20 and the 55, we need then between the 5 and the 618, which is, as Louis Crypto says, the golden pocket. This is the, if we can break above the 5 fib level, it's more certain for continuation. To the upside, heading back up to our 200 moving average. So it's all down to how it wants to play out now. If we lose previous lows, we're going to be heading down. If we can hold the lows, find support and head back up these fibs, we're on our way. You know, we're hitting these technical targets and it could certainly, certainly end up positive, okay? So I'm just going to theoretically say, if we had a bottom here, if, this is a very big if of course, but if we did have a bottom here and we found support on this level here, and we can get above the 236, get above these moving averages, our next target would be the 0618, a 0.077 cent, then taking us up to the 1, which would make sense because if you once you've broken these um, moving averages, come, got above them or below them, but your next target is always the 200, lines up with the 1 perfectly following will take us up to the 1618 at 0.092 cent. So that's positive outcomes as well. If we can find our support on the one that the one fib level that I just showed you before, we'll be on our way 618.11618. So these are all valid arguments. Obviously I'm just telling both sides of the story so I'm not going to just give you one opinion. I'm going to try and give you a mixed opinion here. Sorry guys my phone was ringing so I had to just cut the video there but I've pretty much said what I wanted to say. All in all, we must get above the 20 moving average for continuation to the upside. So that's it for today, guys. Like and comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.